Time now for a roundtable discussion with Tom Schmitz. Tom James, I'm Buddy Martin. And an era has passed, gentlemen, uh, the likes of which we'll probably never see again in Gainesville and maybe not in another university anywhere close. When Jeremy Foley steps down October the 1st as the athletic director, yep. with all those championships in 13 sports he's produced, 27 in 13 sports. That's correct. 27 in 25 years. Right. And what's going to happen? I mean, that will never be equaled again. That will never happen Hard to again. believe. Um, and now he's the last of the big four. If you look up the numbers that Steve Spurrier helped produce starting in 1990. Yep. And by the way, Jeremy became AD two years later, so he didn't right. really hire Spurrier. Yep. And then you add in <clears throat> Spurrier's comments, and then you go to Billy Donovan mm -hmm. and Urban Meyer and the reign they had of four national championships in a period of three years, two right. in football and two in, in, in basketball. And you add it all together, those guys plus Foley. I mean, you're talking about a big four. I'm not so sure they're not missing a couple of statues in Gainesville, guys. You know, when you talk about the Big Four, you talk about Coach Spurrier, he transformed a conference and how they approached the game of football. Southeastern Conference was three yards in a cloud of dust till Funning Gun yeah. got here. Yeah. Billy Donovan, an unknown from Marshall University, shows up at a football school and brings it basketball prominence by winning national championships. Urban Meyer – Un, you know, well, well to do coach, but Bowling Green in Utah, not not a high profile, true guy. He had won a lot, but but not at big schools. Not the same. Comes in, wins two national championships, and recruits quite possibly one of the most prolific college football players ever to play the game. And Tim Tebow brings him here, and Jeremy Foley, who oversaw almost all of this except two years of Coach Spurrier's career. And not only that, but he oversaw bringing softball to prominence when it was a West Coast sport. Sure. Now they're the best best team in the country to, to year after year in softball. Yep. Baseball to prominence, swimming, track and field. I mean, that's the guy that may need a, 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 trophy, a, a statue all by himself. Yeah, Billy Donovan said in a conversation mm -hmm. that he valued all coaches on campus, not just the football and basketball right. coach. That's why they all were able to produce. And sure. Billy said – the thing is that Jeremy told them, he said, first of all, you hire good people, you give them the resources, you give them a chance to excel, they make University of Florida number one, and Jeremy said, was always there, he said, he was by your side, win or lose, and especially when you were down and had a tough sure. time, he was always there. And that's what they valued about Jeremy Foley, who, by the way, if there was a Hall of Fame for athletic directors, he should go right to it. Well, you're talking about the last – quarter century, basically. We're not talking about players, but we're talking about these guys in authoritative uh, positions. Jeremy Foley, Steve Spurrier, Billy Donovan, and Urban Meyer. You know, uh, uh, among those guys, we talked about Foley being in charge of the 27 national championships, but Steve Spurrier brought the first ever national championship to the University of Florida. Donovan, the first ever basketball uh, national championship. I just wonder, will we view the next 25 years as fondly as we do these previous 25 years when the 2040s roll around. I mean, we are talking about the golden era of Gator athletics, well, the last 25 era. or so golden years. Golden era is a bad term because that's the name for the, the period of time they didn't win any games. They went winless. So we have to use golden age, Tom. The golden, golden age. Era. Yeah. Okay. But I agree with you. I, my answer yeah. is no, we'll yeah. never we'll never equal that. We'll yeah. never see it again. It'll be hard I, to do. My question is, it's hard to follow a legend. Steve Spurrier, legend. Urban Meyer was legendary with the way he won here. Sure. Billy Donovan, a legend. Can an AD be legendary? Can you follow a legend as an athletic director? I, that's a very good question. I guess time, and, and as Billy Donovan says, you look back on it, it looks even better when you look back on it now with a little perspective. It's an incredible body of work. It is. Period. Now, I don't like to use the word great because I think it's kind of a cliche. I mean, what is great after all? How do you define greatness? You know, no, that's not working, Tom. Right? Not, I tried. No. Okay. Yeah, I tried. Okay. But I would argue this, and usually you don't talk about 80s like this. It's usually the coaches. But I would say, I would dare to say, that Jeremy Foley helped put the word great in the mantra it's great to be a Florida Gator. 
Oh, without a doubt, Jeremy Foley, because in the twenty-seven, the twenty-five years he's been here, twenty-seven national championships over thirteen sports, he does make he has made it great to be a Florida Gator. And here's the thing: it may be twenty-eight national championships by the end of when, when he leaves here, October first. Yeah, well, that's quite possible. But you also have to understand this: to be this great an athletic director, you have to hang around long enough. And the way you hang around long enough is you're a success. He's the second longest active tenured athletic director in the country in major college uh, athletics behind yeah, Chris Hill from Utah. Is a big thing. Yeah, there's yeah. no question. Yeah. It always stands to reason. They say. If you start at the very bottom and work your way to the top, it's extra special. That's what Jeremy Foley did. Former ticket manager right there. Ticket manager. Okay, we've got about 10, 15 seconds there. If you say of all those guys, the big four, what they did, and you say this was the most impressive thing done by any of the four, what would you say it was? Which one? Boy, I'd almost, I'd almost go with the basketball national championships at a football school. Okay, that's a good one. 52 to 20. <laughs> you would take the national championship game. 1996 national championship, 52 to 20. I could argue Good. two national championships in football in three seasons, but I'm going to say 1993 because – the condition of Florida football at that point was not good. No. They won nothing. They were coming off a, a NCAA sanction, and their program had a chance to go south. But Steve Spurrier took it north, yep. won a national championship at the first SEC, and here we are today looking back at how many national championships in Florida? 25. Yeah. In 13 sports. Total culture change. 27 in 13 yeah, 27 sports. in 13 sports. And well done, Jeremy Foley. And that's it from the guys on the roundtable, Tom Schmitz, Tom James. I'm Buddy Martin.